<laughs> a nurse is bathing a female patient who is in a coma. When she notices that the patient's heart rate and breathing increase, whenever she cleans the genital area, she gets the idea that oral sex might actually revive her. She calls the patient's husband over and explains that oral sex might revive her and the husband agrees to help. At night time, she brings the husband to the patient's room and closes the door to let him begin. Not two minutes later, the alarm goes off. That the patient's vitals are actually worse, critical even. The nurse knocks on the door and asks, is everything okay in there? The husband answers, I think I'm choking her. <laughs> a woman was driving through a remote section of desert at night, thoroughly lost. Suddenly, a coyote ran into the road ahead of her, slamming on the brakes. The woman was astounded to see a man come running from out of the darkness toward the coyote. In one smooth motion, the strange man took his pants down, grabbed the coyote by its back legs and began furiously sodomizing the poor creature. Shocked beyond words, the woman went around the man as quickly as possibly and drove on, speeding towards some lights in the distance. She discovered a bar with a sheriff's car parked outside. It figures, she thought and resolved to go inside and file a complaint. On a rocking chair near the door, an old man was sitting and masturbating openly, horrified. She stomped into the bar and straight away went up to the sheriff who was sitting at the bar. She shouted at the sheriff, what sort of town are you running here? You've got people running around the desert fucking coyotes. And, and just outside there was an old man masturbating openly. How can you explain this? The sheriff sipped his beer and said, Ah, well, you can't expect him to catch a coyote at his age. <laughs> a young man was inspired to help out with his church's fundraiser. He asked the preacher if he could participate. The preacher, knowing the young man had a bad stutter, only gave him three Bibles to sell out the following day. The young man returned asking for more. The preacher gave him five. The following day, the preacher gave him ten. By the end of the week, the young man broke the church's all-time record for the highest sale of Bibles. The preacher believed that divine intervention had occurred. He was dumbfounded and had to know the young man's secret. So the preacher asked the man how he was able to sell so many Bibles. In such a short amount of time, the young man smiled and said, I asked the the then if the the they wanted to ba buy, buy a Bible or have men me read, read it to the the them. <laughs> a teacher asks a new student to introduce himself to the class. So the boy says, I'm BBB Billy SSS -S Smith. The teacher is mortified that he's unintentionally embarrassed the poor boy and apologized, saying, I didn't realize you had a stutter, son. If I did, I'd have never made you speak in front of the class. To which the boy replies, I don't have a stutter, sir. My dad does, and the doctor that filled out my birth certificate was an asshole. An elderly Irish lady visits her physician to ask his advice on reviving her husband's libido. What about trying Viagra? Asked the doctor. Not a chance, she replied. He won't even take an aspirin. Not a problem, said the doctor. Give him an Irish Viagra. What on earth is Irish Viagra? She asked. It's Viagra dissolved in his morning cup of coffee. He won't even taste it. Let me know how it goes, he said. She called the doctor the very next afternoon. How did it go? He asked. Oh, Faith, doctor. It was terrible. Oh, no. What in the world happened? Well, I did the deed. Doctor, just as you advised, I put the Viagra in his morning coffee and he drank it. Well, you know, it took effect almost immediately. 
and he jumped straight up out of his chair with a smile on his face. A twinkle in his eye and his pants a-bulging. Then, with one fierce swoop of his arm, he sent the cups saucers and everything else that was on the table flying across the room. Ripped me clothes to tatters and passionately took me then. And there, right on top of the table, twas a nightmare, I tell ya, an absolute nightmare. Why so terrible? Asked the doctor. Wasn't the sex good? Freakin' Jasus, it was the best sex I've had in me last 25 years, but sure as I'm sitting here. Doctor, I'll never be able to show me face in Starbucks again. <laughs> Dr. Dave had sex with one of his patients and felt guilty all day long. No matter how much he tried to forget about it, he couldn't. The guilt and sense of betrayal was overwhelming. But every once in a while, he'd hear an internal, reassuring voice that said, Dave, don't worry about it. You're not the first doctor to sleep with one of their patients. And you won't be the last. And you're single. Just let it go. But invariably, the other voice would bring him back to reality, whispering, Dave, you're a veterinarian. <laughs> a very sexually active guy went to the doctor complaining of pain. When urinating, the doctor sent him off for a number of blood, stool, and semen samples. And when the result came back, phoned the guy urgently and said, Oh my God, you have Hong Kong dong. You need to have your penis amputated or you will die of gangrene. Of course, the guy didn't want to have his cock amputated. So he went to another doctor. By this time, his cock was turning green. And the doctor straight away said, Oh my God, you have Hong Kong dong and immediate amputation is necessary or you will die. Obviously, the guy wanted another opinion. So he went and told his story to a Chinese herbalist. The Chinese herbalist laughed and said, Western medicine is also full of drama, tests and unnecessary surgical interventions. Yes, this green cock is due to Hong Kong Dong. But no need for drastic amputation. In 3-4 days, you will be okay. Cock will fall off all by itself. <laughs> She's single. She lives right across the street. I can see her house from my living room. I watched as she got home from work this evening. I was surprised when she walked across the street in the rain and up my driveway. She knocked on my door. I rushed to open it. She looked at me and said, I just got home and I am so horny. I have this strong urge to have a good time, get drunk and have sex all night long. Are you busy tonight? I immediately replied, nope, I'm free. I have no plans at all. Then she said, good. In that case, could you watch my dog? 